everyone, welcome back. We are going to do another little video on making art at home. So we are continuing our series of Miss Roxanne's Art at Home. And what we're gonna do today is make one of my favorite little craft projects. We are gonna make an origami hopping frog. So you can see I've got my little finished frog right here and I'm gonna show you all the steps we need to make our own little froggy pal. And when he's done, he can give a good hop or a flip. Let's see. Oh, he's doing flips today. There we go. A little hopping frog. So to begin, we're gonna need something very simple. Just a sheet of paper. So we're gonna tear out our sheet here and we're beginning with a rectangle. So we start with our rectangle and the first step is we need to turn this rectangle into a square. And I'm gonna show you how to do that very quickly right here. So what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video because origami is tricky to follow, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you're not gonna see my face, you're just gonna see my hands working on the paper. All right, we are ready to begin our first step. We are going to be turning our rectangle into a square. And so the way that we're gonna do that, we're gonna begin with our bottom corner here. And I'm gonna slowly and carefully fold it over. And I'm gonna bring it so that this bottom side now matches the right side of the paper. So I line those two sides up very carefully and I'm going to press out the crease. So that now you can see I've got a triangle and a skinny rectangle up at the top. Now the reason that we're doing this, my crease is just a little off, but that's gonna be okay. So the reason that we're doing this is we've got our triangle and we wanna get rid of our skinny rectangle up at the top. And the way that we're going to do that, there we go. The way that we're going to do that, getting rid of our skinny rectangle up at the top, is just by folding the paper back and forth so that we can then tear that little rectangle off. Now, if you are at home and you have some scissors, what you could do is just cut this rectangle off. So you could cut off this little extra rectangle right here. But I'm gonna show it to you this way for anybody who doesn't happen to have scissors at home. All we do is fold back and forth, pressing that crease really, really well, so that now I can put pressure on one side of the paper and I can start to gently pull off that excess paper. And now I can take that and fold it up and save it for another craft another day. So now we've got our triangle, which opens up into a square. And you can see I've got the crease line running down the center here from where we just folded it. And that makes a nice line across the page. What I wanna do is create another crease running the other way. So I'm gonna fold up this one I've made a triangle again. Let's try to get the most careful triangle we can. For origami, we like to be very, very careful. And now I'm gonna open that up. And you can see I've got an X running across my page. What I'm gonna do is flip my paper over and that X folds it, folds the paper so that it makes a nice little tent. For the next step, it's a little challenging so I'm gonna show you very carefully and very, very slowly. I'm gonna to start to push the sides of the paper in so that that tent stands up straight. Now I've got a pyramid and I'm gonna keep pushing and keep pushing and you can see I can start to close the sides in and now instead of a pyramid, I've got a little sandwich. And I'm going to press my sandwich nice and flat. And 
and we're going to begin making our frog. From here on out, what you want to make sure you have is that the flat side is facing you and the point is pointing away. So we're going to start at the bottom corner here and we're just going to take the top flap. We're not taking both. We're just taking the top flap and we're going to fold it up the middle so that our bottom corner now comes up to the top point. We did one side and so now we're going to do the other side as well. Same thing, we're going to take that bottom corner and we're going to fold it up to the top. See how we did that? Next up, we're going to come to these outside corners. So I take this outside corner, I'm not folding up to the top, I'm just folding in to the middle. So I take my outside corner and I bring the whole thing into the middle. And press it really, really good. The more you press and the sharper your crease early on in the stages of making your frog, the better your frog will be. So a little bit of carefulness early on equals a better hopping frog. Now I'm coming to the other edge here. I'm taking that corner and I'm folding it in to the middle. And you can see I'm taking care to press my creases nice and sharp, nice and flat. My little sample froggy in the distance unfolded here, so I'm just going to give him a nice press and turn him back over. There we go. Good frog. So now we've done the front of our frog and we're going to work on the legs. So to work on the legs, we're going to flip our whole frog over. Here we go. One, two, three, flip. And this time we're going to fold these flaps here, but instead of folding them up, we are going to fold them down. So those are going to come down the middle. And I'm going to press that crease really nice, and I'm going to press this crease really nice. And I'm going to do the same to this side. So I took the outside and I folded it into the middle. So right now, our frog has some nice, good, strong standing legs. But we want to give him some hopping legs. So we're going to come back to this middle piece and we're going to fold it back out to the edge. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side as well. I take from the middle and I just fold it back out to the edge. And I press, press, press gently on that paper one more time. We're only two steps away from finishing our hopping frog. So what we're going to do is take the whole froggy bottom and fold all of it up so that his feet are up by his head. I'm going to have to turn this around just a little bit so that I can see it nice and straight. There we go. We've got his feet up by his head. And we press, press, press. And now his feet are up by his head, but our little frog says, no, that's too much of a stretch. Please put my feet back down. So we're going to bend in the middle and put his feet back down. And you can see we're going to press really, really hard because the paper is very deeply folded now. So you have to press with a little bit extra strength. And now, one, two, three, turn him over, and there's your little hopping frog. If you put your finger right on the back there, you should be able to get a couple good hops. Another fun thing to do is if you press really hard, you can get a little tip. Sometimes you can get a flip. Let's see if we can do a flip. That's a pretty good flip. If you're making these frogs at home and you want to make a couple, you can even do a froggy battle. One, two, three, flip. Oh, who's the winner? I don't know. So we're going to continue on with our little project because making frogs in their shape is step one, but we can move on 
to another step as well. So we're gonna get out some markers and just have a nice little coloring session with our frogs here. I wonder what color you'll do for your frogs. Hmm. I think today I would like a red and green frog. So I'm going to start with my red marker and I'm just going to make some little markings for my frog. The first step in our origami adventure was very, very controlled and very, very precise. And it's good to learn how to do that. But the next step is just free art. So you can do any kind of drawing that you want on your frog. I'm making some red spots. But you can make any kind of spots that you want, or you could do stripes, or you could write your name, or you could give some eyes. You could do anything you want to this frog. There we go. Those are some excellent spots. And I wanna do some green spots on my frog as well. And you can come back to this video anytime you want. So if you wanna make more frogs, you can make more frogs. If you want to follow along with some of the other videos, you can follow along with some of the other videos. I decided to add some yellow to my frog just now. I think these little triangles here, this is what I want to make yellow. Maybe a little bit of orange. And that's it. So I've got a fun colorful frog that I can hop and have a nice time. I had a wonderful time making art with you today and I'm glad that everybody is continuing on their art adventures at home and I hope to see you again real soon.